Since the first Catholic school opened in 1855, the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board has built a long and rich tradition of excellence that continues to serve not only as a performance standard, but a defining characteristic of Catholic education in Hamilton Wentworth. Today, the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board provides a quality, faith-based education to nearly 30,000 students at 57 schools throughout the city and another 5,600 individuals through its St. Charles Adult and Continuing Education program. Hamilton Wentworth Catholic Schools are one of the city's largest employers with a staff of more than 3,500 full and part-time employees and an annual operating budget of $310 million. Catholic schools also contribute to local prosperity through school renewal and capital building projects of close to $100 million per year. At the heart of this vibrant and very successful system is a mission statement that recognizes the value and uniqueness of each person. Our mission in Hamilton Wentworth, in union with our bishop, is to enable all learners to realize the fullness of humanity of which our Lord Jesus Christ is the model. Catholic education promotes a view of life that is Christ-centered. Hamilton Wentworth Catholic schools are not only distinct in their character and culture, but in their curriculum, which is enhanced by gospel teachings and prayer. Catholic schools provide a curriculum for faith formation that is supported by parents and pastors, supervised by board administration, governed by an elected board of trustees, and nurtured every day by teachers and staff in the school. Gospel teachings extend beyond the classroom into every facet of Catholic school life in co-curricular activities, operational and budgetary decisions, social justice projects, and school culture. Faith is a visible, vibrant part of Hamilton Wentworth Catholic Schools where religious symbols enjoy primacy of place and students and staff participate in daily prayer. Catholic education is supported by a centuries-old partnership between the school, home, and church, which is committed to forming young people in the faith. As outlined in the Ontario Catholic School Graduate Expectations, Catholic schools are not only concerned with forming good students, but good citizens who contribute in meaningful ways to their communities and to the world. Our Catholic Christian faith uh, shapes everything. First and foremost, the establishment, the nurturing, of a Catholic Christian community amongst the staff, the parents, the students and the parish all help uh, to support the transmission of faith to the young people in that school. One of those ways is through stewardship of creation, a tenet of Catholic social teachings which encourages students and staff to show care for and protect the natural environment. It's a philosophy that has informed school renewal and capital building projects particularly in the construction of St. Matthew School in Binbrook, where lead features have been incorporated into its design. Many of the school's structural and mechanical features have become standard practice in new school construction projects because of their environmental impact as well as cost-saving value. Some of these features include energy-efficient light harvesting systems, light sensors, sloped ceilings, and light shades to maximize the use of natural light, high-efficiency heating and cooling systems, water matrix systems, LED exterior lights, and vertical axis or hybrid solar wind turbines. The goal is to build schools that are environmentally friendly while meeting student needs. Wind turbines and solar panels have also become teaching tools, allowing students to track energy consumption and conservation at their schools. St. Matthew has a, uh, a green roof, and on that green roof we have uh, two different types of solar panels. One is a photovoltaic one, and the second one is a hot water solar panel. In addition, we have a wind turbine, and we have uh, plants growing on the roof and uh, the plants growing on the roof uh, creates uh, an ability to store water that reduces the impact on the stone, storm sewer system. The uh, different uh, photovoltaic units and wind power units that we have have readouts that tell the kids how much uh, energy is being used. So it, ha it stimulates kids that they see all of these different things and they get information and feedback from them that they're, they're interested in going ahead with. And it's also led us to put similar installations at secondary schools, and this has led to high school majors courses where the kids at the schools are actually studying 
uh, real uh, facilities for photovoltaic and wind power that we have at those schools. Over the past several years, the Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District School Board has engaged in an ambitious capital renewal program to replace older schools and upgrade facilities, particularly in the suburbs and lower city. The extensive building campaign flows not only from a long-standing commitment to excellence, but from Catholic faith teachings concerning the preferential option for the poor. These core beliefs have inspired the board to invest in resources and facilities that provide the best opportunities for students and staff. They've also been at the root of an extensive accommodation review process to address shifting demographics and declining enrollment and ensure that programs, facilities, and resources continue to support student achievement. School closures and consolidations have provided the board with an opportunity to bring about greater equity for students in the lower city through new, state-of-the-art learning facilities and resources. St. Lawrence Catholic Elementary School recently underwent renovations following its June 2010 amalgamation with St. Mary Catholic Elementary School, resulting in new amenities such as a regulation-sized FIBA gymnasium, learning commons and atrium, and innovative technologies such as smart boards. In early 2012, replacement schools for a holy name of Jesus and Annunciation of Our Lord opened after many months of construction. We're very, very proud of this uh, initiative that our trustees really undertook. And it started a number of years ago in the Far East End with our St. David, St. Joan of Arc consolidating into a wonderful renovated facility. It continued uh, St. Luke's, St. Anthony's into a new facility at St. Luke's. We were actually able then to move more into the core when we've had recent accommodation reviews that impacted St. Mary's here downtown, consolidating in a wonderful new facility at St. Lawrence. Uh, this continued uh, Holy Name of Jesus with the closure of Holy Family. We were able to realize an entirely new building in the inner city and so we're very proud we just had the opening of that. And most recently uh, through the consolidation of St. Columba and soon as well Holy Spirit Another wonderful facility will take place at St. Anne's at the corner of Barton and Sherman and again uh, provides an enriching opportunity to provide a very updated learning environment for our students and we're very, very proud that all of our students will enjoy some of the opportunities that prior to this were only in new schools that were for the most part located in the suburbs. At Holy Name of Jesus, an Ontario Early Years Community Hub, the school has dedicated an entire wing to early learning programs, including full-day kindergarten, child care programs, and parent drop-in centers to provide a safe, engaging, and welcoming environment for students and their families. As well, a first-floor community room houses a breakfast club for students and is used by outside agencies for student-based activities and presentations. At Annunciation of Our Lord, Lord on Hamilton's West Mountain, school has developed a strong connection with its adjoining parish, adopting its name when the former school communities of St. Jerome and St. Catherine of Siena schools merged in September of 2010. The physical proximity builds on the school, home, church partnership that has been the foundational pillar of Catholic education in Hamilton throughout these past 150 years. New school facilities not only reflect the latest in design, construction, environmental and technological advances, but are often tailored to the needs of the communities in which they are built. Schools like St. Thomas More Catholic Secondary School, a school with a long and proud athletic history, which unveiled a new artificial turf football field this past September, a first for Hamilton High School. Our turf opened this year in September and it's gotten a lot of use out of it like from our football teams and then we have classes out here sometimes and soccer and it brings a lot of people to games, a lot of people like to come see it. A replacement school for Bishop Ryan Catholic Secondary School currently under construction will also boast a synthetic turf sports field as well as a 600 seat theater auditorium to support its successful music and arts program. Similarly, Bishop Tonis Catholic Secondary School has a cutting-edge technology learning center that is used by students in the Transportation Specialist High Skills major program. Other innovations include transforming the library and resource centers into new learning commons, a 21st century concept that expands the learning experience, taking students and educators into virtual spaces beyond the walls of a school. Well, I think that at this age of all of our students, when we're all figuring out what we want to do as we move on. 
Um, many of those uh, components in which people would want to pursue a career are here at the school, which helps in the decision making process as to uh, what you may want to do when you, uh, when you graduate. I myself have been anchoring the news uh, from this very desk in the studio for three years now and it really has helped me make my informed decision as to the broadcasting career that I want to pursue post-secondary. What these different innovations do is promote a culture of excellence, one that supports the academic, spiritual, and social and co-curricular achievement of its students. Without continual growth and progress, the American scientist Benjamin Franklin once said, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. The ultimate or primary purpose of Catholic education is to communicate the person of Jesus Christ. And the Catholic schools uh, do this uh, in many, many ways uh, uh, through all aspects of the curriculum, but uh, most especially through the professionalism and uh, Christian witness of our teachers and other staff. Catholic schools as well uh, have uh, one of the pillars upon which they have been built is a commitment to excellence, uh, excellence in academics, in faith formation, co-curricular activities, and all uh, aspects of, of a child's learning. After more than 150 years of leading and learning in faith, the Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District School Board continues to break new ground. 